Hello and welcome to Quick Maths with Mr. Jonsson. In this video, you will learn how to describe a transformation. Describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. Triangle A onto triangle B. Now, just by looking at triangles A and B, you can figure out that it is rotation. But when we are describing rotations, we need to include three things. First, the angle of rotation. Second, the direction of rotation, clockwise or anti-clockwise, and the center of rotation. So I'm just rotating this physically. Just an estimate. Look at my y-axis now. It is in place of x-axis and this is my x-axis so it has come down in place of y-axis. So now we have found out the type of rotation and the angle of rotation and the direction which is clockwise. Let us find the center of rotation. There are different ways of finding the center of rotation. Here I am going to explain by joining two corresponding vertices by a line and then finding the perpendicular bisector of the line and when those two lines meet that is the center of rotation. If I join these two vertices for this one to find the perpendicular bisector it is simple because it is a horizontal line so one two three four so it has to be here without having to use the compass i can easily divide that line into two equal segments now we need at least two pairs of vertices to be joined so you can decide which one do you want to use so let me use this vertex and this vertex All right, now I need to draw a perpendicular bisector, place it right over here, open the compass about three-fourth of the line approximately. So here we go, about three-fourth. Now I'm going to draw an arc and then Without changing the size of the radius, I'm going to draw another arc. Now I place my compass on the other side with the same radius and draw an arc to intersect the previous one. Okay, now we have the arcs ready. We can now take a ruler and draw the line. There we go. Now you can see this is the point where these two perpendicular bisectors meet. So our center of rotation is 1 minus 1. So to describe this transformation, I can write first it is rotation. And then by 90 degrees clockwise and then about the point 1 minus 1. Thank you very much.